So in this video, we'll learn about the difference between qualitative data and quantitative data. Understanding this difference between these two types of data can also help you understand the difference between qualitative as well as quantitative research. First of all, let's just look at the name. Quantitative, as the name suggests, has to do with quantity. So how do you measure quantity? You measure it through numbers, right? So quantitative data has everything to do with numbers. Quantitative data is therefore numerical data that is collected and analyzed in an attempt to describe or predict some variable of interest. So how do we collect quantitative data? Well, it's everything to do with number. Therefore, you collect this quantitative data by asking structured close-ended questions where the outcomes are generally numerical, predetermined, and are also limited to a certain set. You might have filled out numerous surveys or forms by now in your life. Did the form or survey you filled out ask you for your age, gender, income, how satisfied you were with the service on a scale of one to 10, which attribute you thought was the most important attribute when it came to your purchase, etc. If you answered yes, then you have provided numerical data, which is quantitative in nature. Now, similarly in those surveys, have you ever been asked to write down in words something that the researcher, researchers wanted to dig more into? For example, there might have been a question that asked you to explain how a particular restaurant or a service provider could in, improve their service, right? Or if the survey asked you to provide a brief comment on some topic of interest, then they were asking you for information that is supposed to be written down, not in numbers, but in words. Right? So surveys or interviewer asking you open-ended questions or any research questions that gives data in the forms of word and not numbers can be thought of as qualitative research and the data that is collected consequently is going to be qualitative data. So qualitative data is non-numerical data that are generally expressed in words. Qualitative data is collected generally through interviews, focus groups, one-on-one -on -one interviews, observational research, and nowadays, because there are so many content online through content analysis as well. Also, generally qualitative data is very helpful at the beginning of the research process to explore various research ideas. So when a researcher wants to generate ideas in terms of where to start the research or what variables should be focused upon, they may embark on qualitative research as a form of exploratory research. Interviewing subjects or customers may give the researchers a better understanding of the core research problem or hypothesis that should be investigated. Now, once exploratory research in the form of qualitative research is complete, researchers will generally move on to quantitative research to actually test the hypothesis that they have developed. Now, qualitative research is also generally more expensive since this requires more time from the subject. For example, a focus group or an interview that runs an hour might cost a company hundreds of dollars. Now, if you interview 10 people, that would be thousands of dollars, right? While a survey that a consumer can take in their own time and in their own form online or through a paper and pencil is generally cheaper. Also, quantitative research is generally about testing hypotheses or making predictions that requires more data, therefore more participants than a qualitative research would require. A problem associated with qualitative data is that it is subject to interpretation. This means that your interpretation of the responses might be very different than my interpretation of the responses, and therefore two researchers might arrive at two different conclusions. Now, this is generally not a problem with quantitative data since two people using the same data and same method will generally arrive at the same conclusion. Thank you very much for watching.